It's the ultimate commitment, to get to know and accept yourself as you are. To fully experience life as it happens to you. To continually seek ways to physically, psychologically, and spiritually grow from these experiences. True self-love is giving yourself unconditional respect, appreciation, and evaluation of being great. It's reminding yourself that you deserve to have all your personal needs met while considering yourself as worthy, valuable, and deserving of happiness. It's fully knowing, no matter what you do or neglect to do, that you'll always love yourself and be true to who you are, no matter what. I'm going to share with you 23 ideas on what true self-love is. If you want to love yourself subscribe to this channel it doesn't matter if you are alone. 1. Choose yourself, even if it means upsetting others and not being popular anymore. Even if it means we leave a party before anyone else because we feel tired, overwhelmed, or just plain feel done with the crowd. 2. Tell what is true for you, not swallowing words that express what we truly feel, think, or want to do. 3. Give your body the nurturing, rest, exercise, and comfort it needs to the best of your ability. 4. Wearing clothes that make you feel good and fit our personality instead of wearing clothes that are in fashion that we use to impress others. 5. Build a life that we love while we are single instead of waiting for your prince, princess to show up to explore life and to be happy. 6. Accept yourself with the good, the bad, the ugly, the sexy, and the smelly, all of it, and appreciating ourselves as whole people. Make time to do whatever you love, just to play, without worrying about wasting time. Before we proceed if you are new here don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you like and love what you do. 8. Own your inner and outer beauty and compliment yourself without feeling guilty, arrogant, or entitled. 9. Don't rehash your past mistakes and dragging ourselves to a dark place when we know that we can only learn from the past, we can't change it. 10. Spend some quality, connected time with yourself instead of always watching TV or wasting time on the internet. 11. Use discretion when sharing your heart, self, and dreams with others. 12. Trust the path that your soul is on and making a genuine effort to become a conscious co-creator of your destiny. 13. Don't blame your parents for your current issues, and looking for ways to heal our wounds and change our dysfunctional pattern behaviors by reaching out to ministers, therapists, coaches, and healers. Follow what your gut, intuition says instead of living out of our brain and ego. 15. Stay in your integrity, both when it comes to yourself and when interacting with others out in the world. This includes keeping ourselves in check regarding patterns such as lying, manipulating, codepending, withholding, and pretending. 16. Allow yourself to dream big, without contaminating these dreams with judgments, your perceived limitations, or a lack of sense of deserving. 17. Know how you're spending your emotional, mental, financial, and physical energy, and whether these activities bring back joy, connection, nurturing, rest, and creativity to our lives. 18. Take responsibility for all of our experiences. Knowing that we have the ability for deeper self-awareness and access to our intuition when it comes to making life choices. 19. Don't label yourself with others' opinions, while having the courage to look inside to see if there might be some truth to them. Learn to set boundaries that protect and nurture your relationships, with ourselves and others. 21. Allow yourself to make mistakes and not berating ourselves for making them. Instead, choosing to appreciate our desire to learn and grow. 22. Refuse to seek permission or approval to be ourselves. Recognizing that we, like everyone else, deserve to take up space on this planet just as who we are right now. And lastly, self-love is. 23. Loving and accepting ourselves even when we fail miserably at some of these self-love goals. No one else can offer these things to us. No one else can take our vitamins for us or prevent us from going into a self-loathing attack. 